she going boys mike here welcome back to grandpa's workshop i'm so glad you dropped in because i love it when you drop by the shop uh today i'm going to try something that i'm not good at i'm going to say that right up front uh my skill level in this skill is <laughs> low to say the least uh i'm going to try and sharpen some knives now the true mark of a good craftsman in my book anyway is can he sharpen his own tools and put me under the no you can't column because I have a hard time trying to sharpen tools. Um, but anyways, enough about that. I, I bought, uh, some time ago, I bought this little tool from Canadian Tire in Canada here. It's called Canadian Tire. And it's a, a multi-tool for sharpening knives, scissors, chisels, shears, uh, <laughs> pencils, you know, to sharpen everything. So I'm gonna use that tool today to try to sharpen some knives. So I have three knives here I'm gonna try and sharpen. This one here, it's a, I'm gonna call this a carving knife. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's wide. It's got a wide blade on it. Uh, and this is not like a top quality knife with excellent steel in it, but it's not a, it's not a plastic knife either. <laughs> so I think the steel in here, we can spend some time sharpening it. Uh, so anyway, there's, there's that one. Uh, I'm gonna call that a carving knife. And then uh, a sister knife to that is the butcher knife. And again, I think the steel in this is decent worth spending some time on to get an edge on it so i'm going to call this a butcher's knife and i'm going to sharpen that next and then uh, i have this knife here it's called uh, a russell belt knife russell is the style of knife it is and this knife is made by groman knives and groman knives is located in picto nova scotia canada which is just down the road from where i grew up i used to drive by this plant every night going to curl when i used to curl in picto and so I'm going to try and put a sharp edge on this and this is good high quality tool steel and it can take an edge and last for a long long time I'm sure so we're going to try and put an edge on that one but we'll see how we make out so let's go see if we can get her done so here's my sharpener right here it's a mastercraft it's a uh, well not a good one it's got a diamond edge wheel in it what did I just show you here a diamond edge wheel and uh, it comes with multiple little of these uh, modules, they call them. And this is a knife and scissor sharpener. So that just slips in there and locks in place. It says put it in there, draw it across the wheel from one end to the other. So that's what I'm going to try and do. Wish me luck. Probably a good idea to do even amounts on both sides. So that looks like it's taken off a pretty good chunk from the blade. It's pretty sharp now, so we're just going to leave that. Uh, and we're going to have another knife here. We'll try this one. Okay, I'm just going to try and put an edge on this. This knife has never been sharpened before. Okay, well, we put an edge on them. They feel a bit sharper, but the edge that's going on this one, it seems like it's too blunt. So I'm not sure how long that will last. Uh, so now I'm going to set up, I have a, a buffing wheel with some jeweler's rouge. I'm going to try that just to see if I can get a better edge on these knives. Hey folks, it's sticker time again at Grampy's Workshop. I love sticker time. And today I got a letter that came quite a long ways. It came all the way from across the ocean, came from England, 
from uh, Tinkering Taylor. From Neville at Tinkering Taylor. What did I show you his sticker here? I like his sticker. Pretty colorful, I must say. Look at that. Neville at Tinkering Taylor. Neville's got a nice little shop. Just started watching Neville's channel, I don't know, a month or two ago. Does a lot of little engine repair, small engine repair, and just, you know, general work and repairs around the shop. So he sent me this nice letter. Look at that. Boys, oh boy, she's setting the bar pretty high there, Neville. He says, hi, Grampy's Workshop. Hope all is well with you. Here are a couple of my stickers for your collection. Cheer, cheers, Tinkering Taylor, Neville, at Tinkering Taylor. So thank you, Neville, for that. He sent me two stickers, but we're going to put one on the wall. I think we're going to put them right here under David Carnett. Tinkering Taylor. I'm enjoying watching Tinkering Taylor's channel. I hope you do too. And tell them Grampy sent you. So I've got these, uh, the red and the white jeweler's rouge. I usually use the red on this wheel and the white on this wheel. So that's what we're going to end up starting in with anyways. And then I'm going to try and put a better edge on this knife here. And then we're going to try the white rouge on here. Now that feels pretty sharp. Whether it's a good edge or not, I have no idea because I know nothing about sharpening knives. So we're going to try this knife now. Try the Russell Felt knife. So that feels a lot sharper, but like I think it's a long ways from being honed, that's for sure. <laughs> so 
So here's a little test. This is the uh, just a piece of paper. This is the first knife I sharpened. So it cuts that pretty decent. So this is the second knife I sharpened. Mm, not so good. Once it gets started, maybe not so bad. <laughs> So not so bad. A lot better than it was, that's for sure. And then the Russell belt knife. No. Uh, not so good this one. I think that one needs more work. <laughs> well, uh, they're certainly not honed, but they're sharper than they were. <laughs> They can cut paper anyways. <laughs> you know, you see lots of guys sharpening their own tools and they won't use them unless they sharpen them themselves. And I admire people who can really put a good edge on something. But they'll sharpen their own tool and then they'll cut the hair on the wrist. So let's see how I make out here. Uh, <laughs> well, I think a little bit maybe. But I don't think so. I think i got a long ways to go. <laughs> They're sharper than they were. Let me know what you think. Do you sharpen your own knives? Do you sharpen your own tools? Uh, it's a skill, and if you do, and if you get a good edge on them, boys, I tip my hat to you. You're doing a great job. Anyways, thanks for watching. I sure hope you're having a great week. Sure hope you enjoyed my little video, and I hope you thumbs up me and leave me some comments. And we'll see you next time on Grampy's Workshop. We'll talk to you.